Hey everyone, John here with another real world tutorial. This one's going to be on how to open an eMachines computer. Now, what had actually happened was, I just got a new computer, and no, it's not of any quality whatsoever. Simply for a little while. Recent, up until then, I've been using this Dell. And I wanted to demonstrate the different, the, the way you have to open up the eMachine, because it's quite difficult, and I saw a lot of people having problems with it. With the Dell, opening it up is as easy as pulling on this lever here. The side simply pops open. Like so. From there, it's easy to get into the workings and install PCI cards, DVD slots, or extra memory. Putting it back is just as easy. All done. Now let's go on to the e-machine. This computer is a different story altogether. You'll notice on top here that there's no slots whatsoever to help you, a lever to help you take it off. And in fact, if you'll have a look at the back, there's absolutely nothing at all. Now, I was facing this dilemma a little while ago. I needed to, to install a FireWire card. And what you actually have to do, and it's quite complicated. Not really as complicated as such, but non-logistical. You take out only these two screws on the side of which you want to open it, which is going to be on the right-hand side of the computer. Now it's actually ready to take off, but you notice when you pull on it, or you there's no there's nothing to help you get it off. And you'll notice that right here, there's a small handle so that when you try to pull it this way, nothing happens. The trick, however, to opening one of these is you have to hold it here and pull directly back along the side of the computer, like so and then it will open. Then I installed my power fire my PCI slot by pulling on this and opening it. You can install this. It has two inputs for another one and an X press. You can also add more memory. Another disk drive has expansion for that. Now closing it takes a while as well. You have to slip it on making sure that this is equal to those along the bottom slide it back into position grab your screws and begin screwing it back in not a very simple thing I found it kind of annoying that they don't talk about this at all in the user manual. I feel that they should because they have three slots for PCI and this is a pretty bare bones computer. People are going to be needing to add things anyway. So it's pretty counterintuitive. These two methods work on pretty much all computers. Thanks for watching.